Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today I wanted to show you how to create a custom Bitmoji cursor. We've created these amazing Bitmoji classrooms, but what about the cursor? I want to show you today how to create cursors that look like these. You can make them whatever you want. I can even put dolphins on them because as you can see, I love dolphins. We're going to be using Google Drawings and also a Chrome extension called Custom Cursor for Chrome. Don't choose the wrong one. It has to say Custom Cursor for Chrome. That's the extension we're going to be using. Let's dive in. So we're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Custom Cursor for Chrome. These are all cute and they may be fun, but you cannot customize them. So this one, Custom Cursor for Chrome, add that. Once you added that to your extensions, it will show over here in the puzzle piece, custom cursor for Chrome. And these are all the options that you automatically have many to choose from. But if you want to customize it, we have to create our own cursor and then we can upload them here. And this is how we do it. Let's go into Google Drawings. And you want to set your page size for your drawing, your page setup, to 168 by 168 pixels. I believe the suggested size is 128 by 128, but I also found that 168 works as well. So now I know this is exactly the right size that I want. Because you've been creating those Bitmoji classrooms, I know you have this Bitmoji Chrome extension. Open your Chrome extension and determine which Bitmoji you want to use. I'm going to do math is going to be my regular Bitmoji. I'm going to just copy the image and I'm going to use control V and paste it onto my drawing. I can stretch it out to maximize the size because I know this is the right size. I'm going to name my drawing and then you want to download it as a PNG, because we want that transparent background. So I'm downloading my map cursor as my PNG. Now I want to do the pointer. So for my pointer, I want to use this image, but I want to get rid of those words. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to save image as, save it to my computer. Then I'm going to go to remove.bg. Once there, you can upload the image from your computer. It was the last one I did and it gives a transparent background, but you can see the word nicely there. If I click on edit, you want to erase, make my pointer a little bigger, my eraser. And I just want to click around here or drag around here if you're good at that, because I still want the yellow star pattern around it then delete all this, erase it all, and download my image. I want to go back to Google Drawing because I want to get that cursor just right for the pointer. That's the tricky one. I'm going to upload the one I just removed the sanitize from, and I'm going to double click, crop out this excess area here. I don't need all that. You want to make sure the pointer portion is up towards the top, as close as you can get it, and a little bit to the right, not too much. Otherwise, it throws the whole thing off. Unfortunately, it will throw everything off. And then I just stretch it out. And this is going to be my pointer. I want to download this one as a PNG. I haven't done that yet. So now that I have both of them as a PNG, I'm going to go into a slide presentation. You can see the cursor that I have. It's one of the ones that they have available. I'm going to go over to my puzzle piece. I'm going to open custom cursor for Chrome and I want to upload a cursor. You can see I've already uploaded my own collection up at the top. They're right here. So to start with, I'm going to upload the image that I want to use for my cursor. Click the plus sign and I know it was math cursor. Open it up. 
And now I want to choose the one that I want to use as my pointer. Remember, it was that sanitized glove that I was using as my pointer. There it is. And now when I go back into a slide, I can go over to the puzzle piece. I can open my custom cursor for Chrome, and I can choose any one of these. Click on it. So once you click on it, come over to your slide, refresh. And when I come up here on point, notice the little fist is pointing in the right spot. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you. Bye.